Hey everybody, real quick before I step out to work this morning, it is election day and this is just for my viewers, subscribers, or anyone that comes across this video. I want to talk to you about being prepared. Not being scared, but being prepared. And I'm gonna just walk around and show you the little things that I do throughout the year to prepare for a health problem, a financial problem, or a situation that would keep me at home for a, uh, you know, short period or extended period of time. And then when I'm done, just walking you around, um, whether this video might be silly or humorous or just down to earth, I'm going to talk to you about something that we all need to prepare for anything. So let's just take a walk around and I'll show you the little things that I have stockpiled up. So yes, I have a stockpile of toilet paper. Yes, I have stockpile of laundry detergent, personal products, medications, toothpaste, toothbrushes, um, extra supply of prescriptions. I have all that. A supply of bar soap to keep my body clean. And I've switched from body wash in the bottle to bar soap because it's much better on my wallet, economical, and yeah, it shouldn't cost a lot to be clean. Yes, I have a stockpile of candles for a power outage, or just when I want my house to smell good. I have enough canned goods to get me through quite a while, whether it's a source of protein like the chickpeas, canned soups, canned vegetables, I have all that. I have a cabinet full of non-perishables, whether it's oatmeal or canned tuna, canned chicken, canned soups, spaghetti sauce, pasta. I have all that. I have a freezer full of frozen vegetables. And I even got a turkey yesterday from my employer. We get turkeys every year at Thanksgiving so I'm prepared in my freezer. And although birds know how to find their own food, I always keep a supply of bird food for my birds or my kids because I'll take care of them in an emergency too. So with all those things that I have around my home to prepare for situations, I think the biggest thing, and I'm not trying to be corny, this is just the person that I am, I think the biggest thing that we can prepare is our hearts. Do I think something is going to happen with this election? Yes. I think no matter who wins, who our next president is, there's going to be people that are very unhappy. And I think that there's going, to think, there's going to be things happening in major cities. Yeah. We have to prepare not only our homes, but we have to prepare our hearts because the world will turn you ugly if you let it. There is so much ugly out there and it comes in many forms. It comes in the form of hate, hate because of what people look like, because of things that people say, mental health. I've never seen so many mental health issues, even in my own family, in neighbors, in my workplace. I've never seen a world like this. And frankly, this isn't the world that I grew up in. It's not the world that so many of my viewers grew up in, so many of my friends. And it's a sad world that we live in. And, you know, I've spoken so many times about social media, and I know I'm on social media talking to you about this. Social media is, I don't know, the world that's out there, it's not a weapon I want to have in my arsenal. So the biggest thing that I can have in my arsenal is a heart that is in the right place. 
I encourage you to get out there and vote for who you think is best for you, not for who everyone on Facebook wants you to vote for, not for people in your workplace wants you to vote for. And you don't even have to tell people who you're voting for. I think if you listen to any conversation or anything on TV, you, you basically know who people are, are voting for and it's a personal choice. And for me, I would like to be able to buy the condominium that I'm in. And the way things are currently, I can't. I like to be able to put more food on my table. I like my paycheck to be bigger. I like to pay less for groceries. So you know where I'm going. Like I said, the thing that we need to prepare, not just for the election, but for life in general, is this thing that's beating inside of us. I've lived a lot of life in my 57 years, and in two months in January, I'll be 58. I have lived through a lot of adversity, whether it's in this world or things in my personal life, mistakes that I might have made in the past that frankly, that brought me to be the person that I am. Because I didn't always have a prepared heart. But for in any situation, we need to prepare our hearts so that we can get to the place that we want to go someday and that we can make the right decisions. We can be the people that we were meant to be because if you guard your heart and you have a prepared and a heart that is in the right place. I really truly believe that that will bring you to the places that you want to go. Don't attack people for who they're voting for. If you go to the polls today, be kind to people because we are all in this together and that's just the way I see it. I talk a lot about forgiveness. I've had a lot of people do me wrong in my life, but you know what? Those people that have done me wrong, maybe their heart wasn't in the right place. And because my heart is in the right place, and I'm not saying I'm perfect, I have the ability to look at those people and those situations in my life or in their lives in a different way. So that is just what I'm bringing you this morning. I have a very busy day ahead of me. I have one resident that I'm pulling some magic and getting her ballot to the place that it needs to be from her rehabilitation bed. So that is what I'm doing today. And I'm also looking at a ton of birds on my balcony. I'm gonna turn this around. It's, it's mostly, I think I'm counting six morning doves and a couple other birds. I wanna leave you with that. So let me turn this around and show you that. There's three. Some of them have flown away. There's another little bird up there. I just fed them. Yeah. They are very, <clears throat> excuse me, they're very active today. Very active. So I am going to get going. Let me turn this around so I can say bye. So I'm going to end this with a the biggest well wish that I could ever bring you people. And then I, I really hope that today's a good day. Today's going to be a very nervous day. I think the world, or at least our country, the world in general, is on edge. I'm going to get out there and vote with my son this afternoon. And we'll probably go out and get some dinner after. And yeah, I'm going to try my best to fall asleep tonight. I don't know. I know that I know we are in for something. Whether it's civil unrest or what, but just guard your heart. Mend your heart. Prepare your heart for this and for the days to come.
be a good person. We're all in this together. None of us are without fault. None of us. Be kind. Be prepared. Do not be scared. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. I truly care about you all. Bye.